So what do we do? How do we dethrone mammon? First, we got to make sure we're not at slave. Mm -hmm. I, I can't have a slavery mindset, a poverty mindset, which is going to be a fear of lack mindset. If I'm afraid, I'm never going to have enough. That's a slave. Mm -hmm. Slave is always afraid they're not going to have enough. Right. Then I'm not going to share with anybody. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Pastor already told us you can't make any money like that. Mm -hmm. he, already, he already made that clear, right? So I've got to make sure my mindset is right. I've also got to make sure my spending is right. Mm -hmm. Is my spending in such a way that I'm blessing or my spending in such a way that it's just for me feeding my flesh? Right. And how do I view wealth? Do I see it as a resource that serves me, mm -hmm. an advancement of God's kingdom? Or, or is it really ruling me because I'm chasing after it? Mm -hmm. See, ma'am, I have you chasing a dollar. Mm -hmm. Now, I also got to trust God because he's going to provide for me. In that same chapter, Matthew chapter 6, he goes on right after that says, don't worry about what you eat or what you drink, what you read. Right? The reason he says this is because I know mammon has y'all scared. <laughs> I know mammon already has you fearing lack. Don't worry about those things. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Right. Then all these things will be added unto you. See, all of it flows together. I know some people thought he was just taking a little left turn mm -hmm. and, and making a little rant. It wasn't. It's all connected. Right. That whole chapter, every mm -hmm. bit of it is right. connected. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we got to trust him. Then we will understand who we are in him. And we receive the authority that he's given us to steward our inheritances. Mm 